Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Muhammad with you. You know what? I decided today I would not go to sleep until I share something with you. And uh, here it goes. Well, first of all, my mother or my friends, they suggest that I should join the gym. Yeah, like I'm overweight or something, you know. Uh, so my crazy friend Muhammad said, you know, it would be a great idea if we join this new gym. The Rackle Gym. It's a really awesome gym. So we went in. Oh man. So alhamdulillah, we got in there and we got a guest pass for one week. Uh, this is my third day. Well, I'll tell you my first day. When we got in there, uh, I couldn't believe it. We walked in and it was this huge, humongous tennis court indoors. Yeah, with lights. And it was awesome. Okay. And we played the vicious game. I won and I lost, you know, here and there. But uh, it was nice. Then we went to the pool. And it was nice, man. There's nobody. Hardly any buddy. So we went to the pool. We swimmed a little bit. It was nice. And there, there were hardly any girls in there. Okay. So uh, it was cool. It was cool. And for you uh, non-Muslims, if you say, uh, Oh, this guy's gay. You know, this guy's gay. You don't want to look at girls. No. It's just uh, it's a custom, you know. We, As for men, we're supposed to lower our gaze. And if it was a woman, we're supposed to her lower our gaze. And the interaction of a woman and a man, especially in the pool, doesn't work out. So, I don't know. So, uh, I don't know about you, man. If you want someone else looking at your sister, that's a different story. Maybe you're just, you know, maybe if your mother's there, somebody's looking at your mother, and you don't feel nothing about it, hey, you got a problem, man. You either, you look, you like looking at your sister, or you like looking at your mother in the bathing suit. And that's, that's gay. Anyway, I'm just telling how it is, because today, I have witnessed something that I must say was gay. <laughs> <laughs> was gay. So here it goes. By the way, the word gay is happy. No. But this was not a happy occasion. Okay, continue. So, uh, we did a little bit of cardio. You know, I got to check the place out. Now, nice workout place. You can come walk in 24 hours 7. You can do whatever you want. Okay? It's humongous, man. Humongous. So, uh, as we finished, I walked into the locker room. And boy... These guys were not shy. So I was like, stuff for a lot, man. So we got a locker room, you know. So I was still with my swimsuit. And me and my uh, friend Muhammad, uh, you know what? We said, you know what? There's a jacuzzi in there. Right in the guy's locker room, there's a big jacuzzi. You know, you walk in, there's a jacuzzi. So I walked in the jacuzzi. And uh, I pushed a button for the, you know, the bubbles to come up. And you know, all this massage around the jacuzzi. And uh, just about to walk in and go in there, this guy came out of nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. Naked, man. He says, hey, no clothes. And I was like, for a second, I had to think. It was like, I was, I was stunned. So was my friend Muhammad. He was stunned, too. It took me out of play, to be honest with you. So I was like, no clothes. I said, yeah, there's no clothes. What? What's up? What's the matter? He says... No clothes. Can't you see the sign? I said, what sign? He said, right there. No clothes. And I was like, yeah, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. I got my shorts. No shorts. Okay. And it got a little bit weird. No clothes, no shorts. <gasps> no. This guy was so serious. It's like he wants to see me naked. Like, he was pissed, bro. Astaghfirullah. Look at this fitna, man. Instead of having clothes, these guys are more comfortable to be with no clothes. And they want you to join them. Uh, we said, no, thank you. We walked right out. And the guy looked kind of mad, you know, and sad the same way. Because he didn't get what he wants. I don't know. This is America, you know. Things happen like this. Astaghfirullah. So, uh, yeah, I just want to share my experience with you. My, 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 my friend Muhammad, he wants to do a video about this. He wants to confess, but the shock, man, the shock, he's still... <sighs> anyway, he, he, he wants to say a couple words. Am I anonymous? Yeah. They won't know it's me? They won't know it's you, buddy. You're a victim, just as me. So don't worry about it. Tell him what happened. Quick. Okay, we, we wanted to go away from... From all the fitness around here, so uh I saw a naked man <laughs> Uh point to Muslims, if you ever go to a gym, never go to the locker room. Because if you do, then uh 
it's a must of lower your gaze. You have to lower your gaze. i be honest with you. Lower your gaze. I'm now blind. He lost his eyesight. So they take freedom too seriously, I guess. And if they're gonna make it that way, so what I'm, they make a locker room only for naked guys that they like just to look at each other and feel comfortable. And another part where this guy they're respectful and they don't wanna you know, check other guys' stuff. It's not like a separate shower. No, it's like a football field, you know? Go in there. It's weird. You know, you can go to the gym, but don't walk to the locker room. Anyway, hopefully, uh, one day they'll change their mind. Okay? And remember, no clothes, no shorts. Anyway, bye. This is your friend Mohammed, MTY Production. Again, once again, bye bye.